Hi folks, I'm Craig Taylor and as always a huge thanks for joining me here on my YouTube channel The Bushcraft Padawan and thanks for joining me in this week's Thursday's Thoughts. This week's Thursday's Thought is a little different because I've had a request, I've taken a request from a YouTube viewer. I feel a bit like an 80s DJ, someone like, I don't know, Tony Blackburn or Mike Reed or Jimmy... <coughs> Moving swiftly on, uh, Madison Poole. Hi Madison, I'll link to her YouTube channel down in the description um, on my YouTube page. Ask me the question or, or suggested I ask people who their bushcraft hero is or the people that they look up to in the bushcraft world and why. And I think that's a great idea. So thank you, thank you for the, uh, the, the suggestion Madison. Here it is, live. So who are my bushcraft heroes or that I prefer the people that I look up to and respect rather than heroes. I think hero is, is an overused term especially in the British media. You knock a ball in a goal and you're a hero. So who are my heroes? Firstly Ray Mears. Why? Because in my opinion he's brought to my generation um, bushcraft to the masses. He's made it prime time TV. He's made it um, high street. When I tell people what I do as an interest in a hobby, I'm normally met with a, with a blank look. I then say, you know, the kind of thing that Ray Mears does and is into. Oh yes, I know what you mean, Craig. Yeah, I get that. So yeah, I, I guess he's made what is quite a niche subject quite accessible to the, the general public. He's a face or a name that you can hang your understanding of a subject onto. The second person I look up to and respect is Paul Kirtley. Why? Well, because when I first started getting interested in going outdoors again and discovered this term bushcraft, whenever I Google for some information about it, guess whose name kept coming up in the top two or three results? Time and time and time and time and time again. So it was unsurprising that I started to look at a lot of Paul's material. The amount of, of stuff that he puts out and has put out is, is staggering. Um, all of it that I accessed was for free. I've been on a couple of his face-to-face -face courses, he's been on three of, two of them actually, I've got a third one coming up, I'm on his online masterclass for tree and plant ID. The guy's knowledge is phenomenal, the amount of stuff he puts out for free in all sorts of different media formats is quite staggering. So yeah, I guess I owe Paul a great deal for accelerating my knowledge and understanding in the early days when I was just googling around for stuff and also in the face-to-face -face workshops and face-to-face -face time that I've had with him as well. And the third person that makes my list is Les Stroud, AKA Survivor Man. The reason Les makes the list is because I think he does a very, very good job of taking some quite abstract concepts of making a shelter, looking for water, um, lighting a fire, and actually brings them into situations that, that you could easily find yourself in if one or two things went wrong while you were outdoors, you could quite easily find yourself in that situation. So he does a good job of taking the potentially abstract and, and bringing it close to home. I also love the fact that he's not afraid of showing when it goes wrong. You know, I've seen Les on many, many videos when, thing, when the fire doesn't start, when the, the water collection process doesn't collect enough water, and he's not afraid of capturing that on camera. And I think there's a lack of that to some degree in the bushcraft community. You know, you go to some people's YouTube channels um, and watch their videos and they make it look like they get um, a friction by fire ember first time, every time in every video, all the time. There may be some people who do that, but let's be quite honest. I think anybody who's honest suggests every now and then it doesn't go to plan. And I think Les does a good job of, of showing that, showing that, that a lot of the stuff that we that we talk about and practice is bloody hard, is tough to do and doesn't always work and that's a guy who knows his stuff. So those are my bushcraft heroes or the people that I look up to and respect and why. But what about you? Who's on your list? You don't have to come up with three. Who's your go-to bushcraft and again it's a broad term hero. Why do you look up to them and respect them? Thank you as always for watching the video. It's really appreciated. Like, share, subscribe, all the usual good stuff and I look forward to seeing you very shortly in my next video. Cheers.